Introducing the Maple Quantum Chemistry Toolbox 2019. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the key features of the Quantum Chemistry Toolbox. First, we want to define our molecule. Loading on all the commands with the With Quantum Chemistry package, we're ready to go. Molecular geometry is a command that will retrieve the geometry of the molecule luciferin from a database of more than 96 million molecules. Hitting return instantly returns its geometry. We can visualize luciferin with the plot molecule command. Plot molecule passing in the geometry luciferin okay, generates the molecule luciferin. Here we can click on our plot. We can rotate the molecule to visualize it from different angles. Now we're ready to compute with the molecule. There are actually two different ways to compute in Maple's quantum chemistry toolbox. The first is to use the method that we want to use and pass it the molecule. The other is to go and calculate the property directly. There are many methods in the quantum chemistry toolbox. Hartree-Fock, density functional theory, 2RDM methods such as the variational 2RDM method, parametric 2RDM method, full configuration interaction, second order many body perturbation theory, couple cluster on the Mac OS and Linux, complete active space configuration interaction, and complete active space self-consistent field. So let's compute our molecule using density functional theory. Passing the geometry into the command density functional and hitting return generates the output here from density functional. It gives us all the different properties, including, for example, the molecular orbital occupations, the total energy of the molecule in Hartree's, the molecular orbital coefficients, the labels of the atomic orbitals, the three components of the dipole moment, the elements of the one electron reduced density matrix, okay, and many other properties. Likewise, we can compute luciferin using the variational 2RDM method with 10 electrons in 10 orbitals, called a 1010 active space. We pass in the 1010 active space using the active keyword. In general, the variational 2RDM method is meant to be used with an active space of electrons and orbitals. Hitting return here generates the solution of the problem with the variational 2RDM method. Again, we obtain the total energy, molecular orbital coefficients, and similar properties that we saw in density functional theory, all collected together in a very convenient maple table. We can also do computations by directly querying properties in the maple quantum chemistry toolbox. This is a unique feature to the toolbox, which is not standard in other packages. We can, for example, compute the energy, the correlation energy, nuclear energy, MO coefficients, molecular orbital occupations, molecular orbital energies, orbital symmetries, atomic orbital populations, charges, dipole moments, nuclear gradients, vibrational energies, thermodynamic properties, one electron reduced density matrix, or even the two electron reduced density matrix for each of the methods in the package. So for example, if we want to calculate the energy of luciferin for the method variational 2RDM method with the active space 1010, we can give the following command. Upon hitting return, we obtain the energy. What's really important is if we also want to calculate another property, such as the dipole moment, we can use the dipole command. Now, Maple will actually use its internal cache tables to prevent itself from recalculating this information. So we can actually just hit return here and obtain this information as quickly as if we haven't done the calculation. We've already done the calculation. Finally, we can look at Mulliken populations and our charges. Here, the charges command for luciferin gives us for each atom the charge on that atom. So we can see that the oxygen has some negative charges, the oxygen atoms, the sulfur is positively charged, the nitrogen slightly negatively charged. And we can even compute the 1RDM from the variational with the RDM1 command, passing in again luciferin, returns the one electron reduced density matrix. After we perform our computations, we can visualize with a package there are many different plots available in the quantum chemistry toolbox. For example, 3D plots of molecules that we've seen already, as well as 3D density plots. So here, for example, we use the command density plot 3D to view the density of the luciferin molecule. Again, as in ma maple commands for plots, we can click on it and we can rotate it to view the molecule and the density from all different angles. Okay, so we have that here. Finally, we can also look at a particular molecular orbital. Again, we use the same command density plot 3D. Now we add the optional maple keyword orbital index equals 50. This produces a picture of the 50th molecular orbital. And you can see the density in green and purple, where green represents the positive orbital lobes and the purple represents the negative orbital lobes. And so here we have an alternation between essentially uh, a node here, a node here throughout the luciferin molecule. 
We can also do a density plot, or a dipole plot, of the molecule. And in the dipole plot, we use the command dipole plot, pass in the molecule's geometry, specify the method, uh, and the keywords to the method, in this case an active space of 10 electrons and 10 orbitals. Upon hitting return, we obtain an image of the molecule with arrows showing the direction of the dipole moment. Again, we can click on this and rotate this to see the dipole moment from different perspectives. We can also calculate the molecular orbital occupations as a plot. And this is really useful because it tells us how far our, our, our molecule is from being a mean field molecule. So for example, if all of the unoccupied orbitals were at zero and all the occupied orbitals gave levels at two, we essentially would have a non-interacting molecule. Here we can see we end up with a little correlation producing fractional occupations that deviate from both zero and two. Finally, the quantum chemistry package has many different interfaces, really an interface for every possible application. The Maple Worksheet interface, which we're using here, as well as a document interface, which is like the worksheet interface, but more of a scratch pad, mixing text and plots and images. The Maple command line interface, which is really helpful for large calculations, and the applet interface. The applet or maplet interface provides a quick entrance to specifying a molecule and playing around with its uh, properties. For example, we issue the command interactive. Upon hitting return, we obtain the applet for the quantum chemistry package. Here, for example, we can add the name of the molecule that we're looking for. So for example, we can pull up luciferin from the web database. And then the molecules plot will show up here on the right-hand side. Again, we can click on that and perform rotations. We can set the, beta, the basis set from this drop-down menu here, choosing from many, many, many different options. We can set the total charge, the multiplicity of the molecule, select the method from this drop-down menu here, for example, selecting density functional theory. Clicking on options allows us to check off different options for the method in terms of optimization and use of symmetry. Okay, so we can save that here. And ultimately, uh, we can decide whether to perform a geometry optimization or not. Here we have the nuclear energy. To compute the total energy, we come down here and we hit the compute button. And now Maple will go ahead and compute the total energy using density functional theory for the luciferin molecule. Once the calculation is complete, we can then use the drop-down menu over here to analyze different properties of the molecule. Now that the computation is complete, we can basically look at all the different properties from this drop-down menu here. For example, we can look at the atomic orbital populations by clicking Analyze. It gives us a list of all the atomic orbital populations. We can, for example, click on atomic charges to obtain the atomic charges. We can uh, click on bond distances to see a list of bond distances in the molecule. Uh, likewise, there are just many other plots that we can explore. For example, we can take a look at the MO energies plot by clicking Analyze here and gives us the distribution of the molecular orbital energies. We can also, for example, look at the skeletal structure plot by clicking Analyze here, and this gives us a plot of the molecule's skeletal structure. Clicking Help gives us a help for the maplet. Uh, we can dismiss that, and then we can exit our maplet to come back to our Maple worksheet. Finally, Maple has an extensive help uh, section, and the toolbox does as well. To open up the help for the toolbox, we use Maple's question mark command, question mark quantum chemistry comma overview. Hitting return opens up the help pages for the Maple quantum chemistry toolbox. You can see after a description of the toolbox, there's a list of all the different quantum chemistry package commands. At the end of the overview page, there is a list of references and examples from a couple of different calculations. Clicking on any of these different commands here, for example, the variational 2RDM method, opens up the help page for that method, giving detailed instructions about putting parameters into the method, a description of the method itself, all the outputs are described from the method, as well as all the optional keywords that can be passed into the method. And finally, after some references, examples of the method are given. All of this can be imported into a worksheet and executed uh, as a live calculation uh, to learn more about the quantum chemistry package. The Quantum Chemistry Toolbox has built-in ready-to-go lessons in physical chemistry, general chemistry, and quantum mechanics for both physics and chemistry courses. The lessons are in the form of engaging Maple worksheets that combine text, figures, animations, 
to explore a whole range of subjects in chemistry and physics. Lessons include black body radiation, potential energy curves, and thermodynamic properties. Some of the lessons are suitable for AP chemistry courses in secondary and high schools. We can take a look at a syllabus by clicking return here on question mark quantum chemistry physical chemistry dash quantum. This brings up the suggested syllabus for physical chemistry. It gives an overview of using the quantum chemistry toolbox in a physical chemistry course as well as a list the suggested list of lessons to be used in the course ranging from black body radiation to the variational theorem. Clicking on each of these lessons brings up the lesson and you can see that it provides a mixture of text, equations, and exercises to really teach students the inner workings of quantum mechanics in the context of chemistry and physics. So clicking return here returns us to the main uh, worksheet and this concludes our lesson, our introduction to the Maple Quantum Chemistry Package. There's much more to explore, many more molecules to explore, and much more to learn. So enjoy using the Maple Quantum Chemistry Toolbox.